Chapter 10, Application of Differentiation, 10.1, Extremum Problems. Question 1a. Use the first derivative test to find critical points and the local extremum of the given function. So here, we want to find the critical point and the local extremum. So to find critical point, first of all, we need to differentiate this one. Okay, we differentiate this one with respect to x. We got 4x cubed minus 12x squared. Okay, this one. And then after that, we need to equate this function to 0. Okay, so we equate that 1 to 0. We got 4x cubed minus 12x squared equal to 0. And then you need to factorize this one to find out what is the value of x. Okay, so we factorize this one. We got 4x squared at the outside and x minus 3 equal to 0. Then we find the root of x x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. So this is your critical points. We need to build a table here with the interval from negative infinity until infinity and uh, stop at 0 and 3. So here is your timeline 0 3 and then first interval is here and the second interval is here and the third interval is here so first interval you got negative infinity until 0 and the second interval you got 0 until 3 and the third interval you got 3 until infinity and then we need to uh, find the value of x you can take any value between negative infinity until 0. Any value, okay? So, this one I choose negative 1. And for 0 until 3, I choose 1. And for 3 until infinity, I choose 4. And this value of x, we need to substitute into f prime x here. So, this value, you substitute here. To find out what is the sign, okay, either positive or negative. If we substitute negative 1, we got negative and we substitute 1, we got negative and we substitute 4, we got positive. So here you can make the conclusion. Negative mean downward and positive mean upwards, okay. So, our conclusion is minimum point at 3, negative 22. Okay, minimum point. Because we have here downward and here upward. So, we got like this. So, we got minimum point here. This one, we cannot conclude. Okay. So, how to find out negative 22 here? Actually, you have to substitute x equal to 3 into y equation. When x equal to 3, okay, y become 3 to the power of 4 minus 4, 3 cubed plus 5. Okay, so this one we got negative 22. That's all. Question 2a. Use the second derivative test to find the relative extremum of the following function. So, this question, we need to use second derivative test. Okay, so first of all, we find out our dy over dx. Okay, so here we got 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Okay, so this is our dy dx. 
and then after we find out our dy dx again we equate this equation to zero then we got this one and you need to factorize this one so we factorize by using your calculator and then we got 3x minus 1 together with x plus 1 so our value of x is 1 over 3 and negative 1 okay after we got this one we have to differentiate again so we find out our d squared y over dx squared okay so 6x plus 2 Okay, so this is our d squared y over the x squared. And then we need to test our value here. 1 over 3 and negative 1. First, we find out for x negative 1, d squared y over the x squared become 6 times negative 1 plus 2. So we got negative 4. Negative 4 is less than 0. So less than 0 means it will give you maximum point like this okay and then at x equal to 1 over 3 we get 6 times 1 over 3 plus 2 so you get 4 and this one is greater than 0 so it gives you minimum point and after that we need to find out our y coordinate so at x equal to negative 1 Okay, our y become negative 1 cube plus negative 1 square minus negative 1 plus 2. Okay, and for x equal to 1 over 3, y equal to 1 over 3 cube plus 1 over 3 square minus 1 over 3 plus 2. Then you will get the y coordinate for this two value of x. Okay, so we got local extremum are 1 over 3 with 49 over 29, our minimum point. And negative 1, 3 is our maximum point. Okay, now let's do optimization problem. Question 9. Refer to the figure below. A cone has a circular base with radius r and the height of the cone is h. Given that the length of AB is 3 cm, find the value of r and h if the volume of the cone is to be maximum. Okay, so here we need to focus on volume. The formula for volume of cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Okay, in this function, you have variable r and you have variable h. So, we need to substitute one variable in term of the other variable to make sure our v is in one variable only so we have to find out what is the relationship between r and h we can relate h and r by using pythagoras theorem okay so pythagoras theorem we got three square our hypotenuse is equal to h square plus r square. So make r as our subject. Okay, so we got r square equal to 9 minus h square. Then this one we can substitute into this one. Okay, so you got 1 over 3 pi 9 minus h square times h. Okay, so now we can see that our v is in one variable only. Then you can differentiate it with respect to h. We expand this one for our v. It's become 9 over 3 pi h minus pi 
over 3 h cube. Okay, so we differentiate this one. We got 9 over 3 is 3 and then pi minus with 3 you bring in front. So it cancel out with this one. So you left with pi h square. Okay, that one is our dv over dh. Then we need to equate our dv over dh to 0. Okay, to find out the critical point. Okay, so we got 3 pi minus pi h square equal to 0. We factorize this one. Okay, I factor out pi outside. So I got 3 minus h square equal to 0. So I got h square equal to 3. So it's mean our h is equal to plus minus third 3. But because h is length, so we will take positive value only. So we got h equal to set 3. And this value we need to test first. Either it is maximum or minimum. So to test this one, I will use second derivative test. From previous, we got our dv over dh is equal to 3 pi minus pi h square. So now, we need to differentiate this again to find out our d squared v over dh square. So we got negative 2 pi h. Okay, so this is our uh, second derivative. Then we need to test our h. So when h equal to set 3, our second derivative is less than 0. So when it is less than 0, it will give you maximum point. So it is accepted to this question. So when h equal to set 3, we need to find out our value of r. So r squared equal to 9 minus h squared. Just substitute your h here. Then you get your value of r, which is set 6. Then this is your final answer.